So this is the controller I have for Warzone currently. It's the GameSir G8 Galileo and it is a Type-C controller. It's the one you've seen in the recent videos and I've seen people say the backbone is better or the G8 is better. I didn't have a backbone so I went ahead and I picked up the PlayStation backbone last night. It was actually on sale and the good thing about this one is that it's available in any major retailers. Walmart, Target, Best Buy, I went to Target, did a curbside pickup and boom, here it is. Now without having used it yet or even opened it yet, I still think the GameSir is probably going to be the more comfortable controller, but this one is more compact, so if you want to take a controller with you somewhere and you need something smaller to put in a bag or something, this one's probably going to get that done a little bit better. Now, even if the G8 is better, I still wanted to get my hands on the most mainstream-ish uh, mobile controller to see what it felt like for myself and be the judge of that for myself. Well, let's go ahead and get this thing open and check out some Warzone Mobile with it. backbone now i'm guessing this is like a sleeve okay there we go why is the box actually kind of soft fancy this looks like pandora's box pretty clean look at that the qr code just takes you to their website so it's not a big deal if i show it download the backbone app snap your phone in and play all right wait i should have probably scanned the app before i did that there we go. All right, app is downloaded, we're good. Let's take this bad boy out now. Yeah. Those are interesting triggers. A little size comparison for you. This one is definitely a lot smaller. This one's probably gonna fit in more bags and more cases. So there's that, but comfort wise, the game server is just more comfortable. It feels like a real controller. This feels closer to... It's like if the Joy-Con had good or better back triggers. That's what I would compare it to. And then the sticks. I think the Joy-Con might have actually a bigger thumbstick. Look at this. Connect backbone to start playing. Does it fit with a case? It does not fit with my case. It is aesthetically pleasing. I'll give it that. Here it is. Here's the back. Pretty cool. Um, definitely way more exposed than the GameSir controller. It actually feels better with the phone in there. I don't know. The buttons are so small. I have a really small hand. Look at my thumb next to these buttons. It covers the whole thing. All right, a little bit of a setup here. I'm gonna set this up real quick and then we'll jump into Warzone and I'll change the camera angle so you guys can see some gameplay on the backbone. All right, so here it is in hand. It feels actually more comfortable than what it looks like. It's super light, it's pretty decent actually. And then for these face buttons, they're actually clicky. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. The D-pad is actually mushy. There's no back paddles or anything like that, so I'm gonna be playing just with normal controls. I haven't really changed anything. I'm not gonna be using tactical or anything like that. Now it's really gonna come down to how these sticks feel. The triggers actually feel pretty decent. I don't mind those. This is actually better than the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con uh, triggers and bumpers. It's pretty interesting. The GameStar controller actually has a clicky D-pad and mushier, mushy-ish buttons, whereas this one is the opposite. And we're gonna go into some shipment here. In terms of input delay or anything like that, it does not feel like there is any. It's pretty solid. And of course I'm lagging. Nice. I need to remember to turn on do not disturb while I'm making these videos. I'm just getting a bunch of random notifications. Um, okay, so this is gonna take some getting used to. Oh God. What kind of spawn was that, bro? <laughs> oh my God. I do love how responsive this controller is being. It feels very spot on with like any inputs. It just, it feels good. Everybody at? Mm. What the? 
Let me guess, prison block? Oh, we're going to, the, okay, not prison block. This is, this is probably the first squad that doesn't go to prison block off rip. There's people here though. Oh, he has a real gun. He don't know about me though. Yo, I'm actually like that. Oh my god, I did so good. I did so good. I should have just went back around and got that gun, but... From just that little gunfight right there, it didn't feel too terrible. It kind of feels like I'm playing on a Switch controller, really. That's what it feels most like, except more comfortable. Like, the angle of the controllers and the shape of them are just a little bit more comfortable than the Joy-Cons. My opinion. All right. Okay, this is an easy cleanup right here for me. Did he jump down or did he go around? What the hell? One of your allies is back in the game. Kinda don't want to go in there. Oh, I have a sniper. Aside from the weird dead zone issue with this game, it feels pretty good. I like it. And I start lagging as soon as I start talking good about this. Don't worry, that has nothing to do with the controller at least. Where do you go? Okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Guy randomly showed up. What's going on out here? Oh, buddy's dead over here. I gotta go over there. Wow, did I get stunned? Like, what happened to me? This game's gotta have bandwidth issues, bro. This is ridiculous. I've got fiber. There's no reason for this. Oh my, oh my god, it's tweaking hard. You guys see this? Can only imagine what Android is going through. <laughs> oh my god. Is it done? Is it lag over? It's MCW. Those enemy footsteps. I just realized there's only two of us in here. Um, okay. Yeah, I woke up before my alarm. Beautiful. Slag be tweaking, bro. Where? Let me at him. Is there more? Hold on, buddy. I need to reload. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, scary. Someone else is there. Oh, it's up top. Where? It sucks because when this game is working properly without any, you know, performance issues or lag or anything, it's actually really, really fun. This, the bad part is most people can't enjoy it at its uh, full potential, so that's really a bummer. Wait, I want to be part of this. Where? Hey, guys. Oh, wait, he saw me? All right, teammate, I'm going to be back here. You just take care of... I have to get good at the backbone. I have to get good at the backbone. Because this stick is so short and close to the controller, I feel like it has less travel distance, and I'm actually playing better with this stick than the game's her controller. It's my initial first impression. Look at this. You see how this one's taller? Travels further. That's why I feel like I'm going an extra mile because of the dead zone issue in the game. If I could set my dead zone to zero on this controller, it wouldn't be an issue. But yeah, it feels like that one has more travel distance than this one. So when I'm moving this one around, it feels just slightly more accurate because of the terrible dead zone issue so yeah that was a very laggy match but you will definitely see me playing on the backboard controller again i'll be going back and forth i'll have more gameplays out with either controller this controller does feel good i'm glad i got it on a sale 
My initial impressions are that it feels better than I thought it would, and the main thing that bothers me is that it doesn't have any back buttons or paddles, so that would really make it an even better, you know, option. Especially for the price point, this one is more expensive than the GameSir controller, and I just feel like the GameSir controller, if you're looking for an actual controller-esque feel, this is definitely the way to go. It feels really good. It just feels like an Xbox controller. Also, this might be the first officially, okay, maybe not the first, but this is an officially PlayStation Sony licensed device and it has offset sticks, which is really interesting to me. It's not really a huge deal breaker to me when the controllers have offset sticks. I just kind of get used to it after a while, but I know it's a big deal for some people that, I, you know, especially for people that play mainly PlayStation. This actually has offset sticks and it's PlayStation. It's actually a very pretty controller. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, found it informative. I will be using this in the future if you want to see more. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.